Hi, this is Aprajita from Avaya Serviceability Engineering team. In this video, we will learn how to enable and disable daemon and application core dumps on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6 based servers. Please note that these steps are generic in nature. As we know that a core dump is a memory or storage dump which records the memory state of a computer program at a specific instance when it terminates abnormally. And a core dump is very helpful whenever we are trying to troubleshoot the cause of the abnormal termination of any of the applications or daemon running on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6. In most of the operating systems, core dumps are generally disabled. So let's first learn how to enable core dumps on an RHEL 6 server and then we'll go through the steps to disable it as well. Make sure that you are logged in in the console with root privileges. Then open file slash etc slash security slash limits.conf in VI editor. This is how the contents of this file will look for experience portal server. Just add one more line here which says star soft core unlimited. By unlimited, we are setting the limit of core dumps on this server to unlimited. So all the processes or applications which are going to terminate abnormally will generate a core dump on this server. The next step is to open file slash etc slash sysconfig in it in VI editor. In this file we will have to declare another variable which says daemon underscore core file underscore limit is equal to unlimited. This will set the core size to unlimited for all new processes running on this server. Save the changes by colon wq. Why we have declared this new variable is because there is a file slash etc slash init.d slash functions which uses the value for this variable. So if you look down here for core limit, this is where daemon underscore core file underscore limit value is used. So we have set it to unlimited so it will be applicable to all the processes running on this server and will survive a reboot as well. Next one is an additional step using which we can control the location and names of the core files on this server. Open file slash etc slash sysctl.com. In this file, add a new line which says kernel.core underscore pattern is equal to slash tmp slash core hyphen percent p where percent p is process id number. Save the changes and close the file. We can even control generation of core dumps on this server by issuing a command on the command line which says ulimit hyphen c unlimited. So this will generate core dumps on the fly for any of the processes running in this terminal. Now let's see what are the steps that we can follow to disable core dumps on the same server. First of all open file slash etc slash security slash limits.conf in vi editor. Go to the bottom of this file and modify this last line which says star soft core unlimited to star hard core zero. This will ensure that core dumps are disabled on the server and are no more generated for any crashed applications. Save the changes. Now open file slash etc slash sysctl.conf Go to the end of this file and add this line which says fs.suid underscore dumpable is equal to zero. This will ensure that core dumps can never be made by set UID programs. Save the changes. Next step is to open slash etc slash sysconfig slash init file daemon underscore core file underscore limit is set to unlimited right now. So modify the value assigned to this variable as well. Change unlimited to zero which means there are no core dumps enabled for this server. 
by making all these changes we should be rest assured that there will not be any core dumps on the server but there is one command which we can issue from the command line to disable the core dumps on the fly and this command is u limit hyphen c 0 so this is how we can disable the core dumps on the server and this concludes our demonstration thank you for your time today we welcome questions comments and feedback at mentor@avaya.com or on twitter at avaya mentor for related information and more details please visit support.avaya.com thank you for choosing avaya